So now we're going to go ahead and look at the uh, user interface for Maya as well as uh, how to navigate and kind of get more familiar with uh, how the interface is set up. So let's start out by learning how to navigate around the viewport in Maya, which is this area here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a cube here, a uh, polygon cube, just for us to have something to look at. Um, so to orbit around in 3D space, uh, you're going to hold the Alt key and use your left mouse button. And as you move around, this is how you orbit, is by holding the Alt and uh, left mouse button. To track, you do Alt again and the middle mouse button. So this is basically panning. And to instead of zooming, you could zoom with the middle mouse wheel. Uh, but if you want to dolly the camera, you hold Alt and you do right mouse button and you move it left to right. Uh, I like this way better than uh, just zooming with the camera because at some point you start losing the focus. Uh, so that's one way to go about it. The second way, you can go up to the view tab here and you go down to camera tools and here you'll see the same uh, list of commands that we just did except uh, Maya here just allows you to basically press it instead of using the hotkey which you can see in the bottom left of the screen down here when you hover over it it says alt and left mouse button uh, alt and middle mouse button and then alt and right mouse button uh, and that's one th common th uh, theme about Maya is it gives you many different ways to do the exact same thing. So um, in this case, you know, the alt key is going to be the fastest and the most comfortable way to constantly keep moving around uh, whatever object you're, you're orbiting around in 3D space. So you can also look at this, uh, this object not just in, in the 3D viewport but you could also look at it in multiple views and one way we're going to do this there's a couple different ways to do this um, so the first way you can tap the space bar and you can see here that this will open up uh, the four viewports and it has basically the perspective and you can have the top which is the top view the front and the side, and these are uh, elevation, so it removes the perspective uh, angle. And this is obviously very helpful when you're doing, you know, you're working with image planes or when you need to uh, adjust things in elevation. Uh, this is one way to go about it. Uh, and at any time, you can hover over any of these and press the space bar again, and it'll take you, um, it'll basically make that full screen in the viewport. So here we see the front view. Same thing with the uh, with orbiting around. Obviously, you can't orbit because it's not in 3D, but you can pan and you can uh, dolly in and out as well. So if we pop that back open, uh, you can see all your views here. Another way to, to do the same thing would be to hover over in your toolbox, hover the four the four view here, and you click that, and you get the same four uh, viewports. And like before, the same thing. You want to click on one versus the other. Uh, if you wanted to access the uh, other views without leaving your 3D viewport, um, we need to open the view cube and you can go to window setting preferences, preferences, and uh, in the interface tab, third one down says view cube. And so here we can click on show the view cube and we can actually specify which side we want it to be on, uh, the opacity and the size. So we can just keep it on the right and if we want to make it larger, then we can just make it larger to save the preferences. And so what the view cube allows us to do is to basically click on any one of the corners of this cube and it'll take us to whatever view we choose. So here we can see between the right and the back same thing from the top as well. And, but the difference is that we're doing this within the, the 3D viewport. So then you know, we can orbit around if we'd like, et cetera, et cetera. So that's, a, that's one pretty nice way to, uh, to have access to the, your, your viewports without having to switch to multiple viewports.
So if we want to turn off our grid or change our grid size, uh, we can go here on the little grid icon. If you hover over it, you can see grid. Uh, and you can turn that on or off. Or you can go up to display and turn the grid or change the grid units. And so any one of the menus that have a little square next to it means that there is a dialog box that will open up, which you can uh, adjust and change the values, etc. And at any time you can hit uh, edit reset to reset the default values and hit apply. And the last thing we're going to look at for the navigation, um, it's going to be how to change the background. And so, you know, sometimes you may want uh, to have a white background, black background, etc., depending on the contrast of the objects that you're working within. Um, so one way to do this would be to hit the Alt-B key, and you can keep pressing these, and it'll cycle through the solid black, white, uh, and you can do a gradient as well. Um, you can go into your window, setting preferences, and color settings. And here you can um, go to your general tab under 3D views, and you can change the background gradient top and gradient bottom as well. Uh, so it depends basically what, what you'd like to have set up, and you can put any color you'd like as well. And so this is going to be it for the uh, navigation portion. Next lesson we're going to talk about the interface. Uh, a lot of the, the UI elements and basically what we have at our disposal um, by default from Maya.